everyone, so today I am filming a new unboxing video, finally. I will link my previous one down below. You guys always seem to really enjoy these, so I've got heaps and heaps and heaps of products behind me. The stack right here is actually taller than I am, so I'm really excited. <laughs> I was like moving all of these packages into my filming room and I was just like getting really, really, really hyped. So let's jump straight in and I'll show you what I've got today. So the first package I have here is from Bondi. Boost, which leggings like this. This is the first time I'm going to be trying this company. I will put a link to them down below. So it says here, Bondi Boost products aren't like the ones found in the supermarket. Our formulas are free from nasty parabens and leathering agents, which means you may notice that your shampoo won't lather or bubble up as much, but this is completely normal. If you're using the shampoo, we recommend to use the same amount you normally would. Massage your scalp for a few minutes, then rinse. And yeah, it's proudly made in Australia, which is really cool. So in here, we have Bondi Boost Hair Growth Shampoo, Bondi Boost Miracle Mask, which helps to prevent breakage, stimulates and nourishes hair follicles. It's vegan friendly, which is really cool. So yeah, they both um, have like similar kind of agents, the shampoo and the grow mask, and they contain natural DHT blockers which I believe DHT has something to do with like your hair fall. So a natural DHT blocker um, is going to prevent as much hair fall. You're going to get less hair fall and less breakage. So I'm going to be trying this out over the next while until it runs out. I'm so excited. Australian made paraben sulfate and DAA, DE free <laughs> vegan cruelty free certified organic ingredients it sounds pretty amazing I just want to smell it real quick oh my god it smells really good it smells like fruity maybe I don't know it smells good though and then we have these Bondi boost hair vitamins these are Australian made vegan friendly sugar free gluten free and they contain biotin um, vitamin A vitamin C and zinc so these are just supplements for your hair skin nails oh my gosh it says here we don't just want to make the world's most incredible hair hair care products I can't read we want to make a better world that's why we are committed to supporting Australian children diagnosed with cancer and donate 1% of our profits annually to the kids with cancer foundation that's so cool so these are the only Australian made gummies let's have a look at them I have like bought gummies in the past but I'm really bad at like sticking to them I really need to try because they're supposed to help your hair grow in just like you know thicker less fallout and stuff like that once again just healthier stronger and they just look like little gummy bears how cute is that? How oh, they have no sugar. They taste sweet. Mmm. Quite good. So yeah, if you want to check it out, I'll put the link to Bondi Boost in the down bar. I'm excited to give it a go. If you guys have tried it, let me know what you guys think. Ooh, next up is something from one of my favorite skincare companies. In here, I have a new glow spin brush clean. I mean, not brush cleaner. It's like a face brush, face cleaner. A brush face cleaner. I can't get my words out. Um, this is what I use to wash my face when I'm in the shower. I use it pretty religiously. Like I'd say I use it like, you know, five out of seven days or something like that per week. And my favorite head is the little silicone brush. And I've been using mine like religiously for a while now. And I really wanted a new one. So <laughs> here's my new one. Thank you so much, Vanity Planet. So this is what it looks like. And then you get your silicone head and then you get like a gentle kind of brush head and then one that's better for like a deeper exfoliation and deeper cleanse. Um, this thing is amazing. I basically never have to change the batteries. Like, I don't know why it just lasts forever. It's just two double O batteries and it's got two speeds and basically it just cleans your skin really thoroughly, gets all the dirt and makeup out and just helps with like blackheads and like a smoother skin finish brighter skin because you're exfoliating all that like dead stuff off so yeah love this and i'm working with vanity planet to give you guys a cool little like deal where you can get this and a face mask for 45 us dollars so there's a discount code it's shenexo beauty and there's like a link down below so check the down bar for all the links and coupon codes and stuff like that so we have the flower child rose moroccan red clay mask which looks like this then we have a wild woman activated charcoal clay mask and then we have a zen goddess green tea clay mask and they look like this and they're in little powders so you just mix them together with a little bit of water or you can also add apple cider vinegar facial oils and once you like mix it all together you just apply it to your face like a normal clay mask wait for it to dry and then you can just rinse it off 
So the activated charcoal clay mask is really good for like combination oilier acne prone skins to get rid of excess oils and just kind of like detox your skin. The Zen Goddess Mask, they created this one in mind for people that struggle with like hormonal acne and stuff like that. It's very soothing. And then the Flower Child Mask, it's a clay mask. Um, pretty much just for anyone. It's very versatile. All natural as well, organic. And Vanity Planet also sent me the purple one and the pink one, which I'm stoked about, so I'll be able to give one to my friends. <laughs> These are so cute though, and like they come in a cute little case as well, which is perfect for travel. Okay, check the down bar for links and discount codes. I swear by this thing, like seriously, love it. All opinions my own, it's amazing. Sorry if like the lighting keeps changing, it's hailing outside all of a sudden, there's like a random sunstorm thing happening anyways. The next package is from Clean Collective. We have just launched a brand new flavor of our 100% clean mojitos. That sounds amazing. Okay, let's have a look. Oh my god, the packaging is really pretty. Look at that. Okay, so these are mojitos, mandarin and lime, and watermelon and cucumber and lime. Watermelon and cucumber both make me spew. Like literally, like I think I'm intolerant to them. Anyway, someone else can try that one. I'm so down to try mandarin and lime. I wonder if they've just got like a classic mojito flavor. You know, just like lime, I don't know. Next up, we have something from Huda Beauty. This looks pretty cool. It's like a bag or something by the looks of it. Oh my gosh, it is. Look at this, that's so cool. Okay, so new mini eyeshadow obsessions. Oh my gosh, there's heaps of stuff in here. I'm like doing my rubbish and recycling as I go. This is gonna take me like three hours to film, but that's fine. Okay, so in here, to start off with at the very top are some new gemstone obsessions and coral obsessions mini palettes. Oh my gosh, how helpful would the gemstone one have been for my series? So this is, oh my God, it's so pretty. The gemstone one, I just wanna swatch this purple. <sighs> I didn't even like press hard. Look at that gorgeous color, it's so nice. Let's do one more, let's do the green. Oh my God, I barely even touched it. It's so pigmented, okay, that's cool. And then this one is the Coral Obsessions. And looks like that, oh, that's pretty for summer. I have to do a look with that. I love the orangey shades and the yellow. That's pretty cool, um, quite unique. And then we have some mini little um, liquid lipsticks. These are so good for travel and stuff and because it takes forever to go through a liquid lipstick as it is so it's pretty good like you know you can buy them cheaper get four different colors and it, you're still gonna have enough product to last you for a pretty long time also in here we have the huda beauty lash glow i've not actually tried it yet i'm pretty sure i already own it but i just haven't tried it we have some liquid lipsticks which i really like these formulas they're really nice so there's heaps of shades look how many oh my gosh they're always such nice, like, wearable shades. I'd love to see Huda Beauty do some, like, crazy ones one day. Maybe she does. I don't know. I just have, like, kind of neutral shades myself. And then, last but not least, we have some lashes. Jade, Samantha, Farrah, and Giselle. Ooh, I don't think I've tried these ones. These are pretty, like, natural styles. My favorite is Samantha by Huda Beauty. Next up, we have something from Good Health. This is the Turmeric Sport Complex Post-Workout Recovery. Um, so it's for temporary muscle stress from exercise, body recovery, and overworked muscles during rest and recovery. Vegetarian friendly, so that's pretty cool. Sometimes I do get a bit sore after workouts, especially if I go on like a big hike or something, like my muscles just burn. Next up, we have something from a PR company. Okay, I think these, yes, okay, it's designer brands, some new brushes. This is what they look like. It's a 10 piece brush set and I know there's more designer brands in here because I've seen the bags, so. I'm gonna skip straight to CoverGirl because this box is almost as big as I am. And it's really, really heavy. Okay, honestly, I do not know what's in this box, but it is, whew, oh my gosh, okay. I think it's a foundation. Well, it is a foundation. Oh, no wonder it's so freaking heavy. Look at this. <gasps> That's my workout for the day. So heavy. Okay. Wow. Okay. So here are all of the foundations. Let me know if you do want a first impression of any, of any kind. Um, also, I always get questions about what I do with all the shades that don't match me. Clearly, there's a lot that don't match me. I just donate them. So I usually donate it to Look Good, Feel Better, who are a charity that put together teams of makeup artists and do makeovers on people that are going through cancer treatment um, just to help them learn their new skin types and make them feel beautiful and show them some tics, tics, tips and tricks. 
so that's where it goes. So we have some primers, which I'm pretty excited about. The packaging reminds me of the Maybelline ones, which I love. There's an illuminating one, a um, skin smoothing one, color neutralizing, and pore minimizing. So this is exciting, and there are so many shades. And the dark ones actually look dark. Like, they're dark, dark shades. The lightest ones don't look that light, but um, I'm really pleased that there's like a good shade variety. There's some pale shades, medium, and then plenty of like deeper and dark shades as well. So yeah, let me know if you do want a, what is it? First impression. Some clothes from one set. So first is, ooh, this is pretty sexy. This is like a leatherette, is it a dress? I'm assuming it's a dress, but it's very short. Um, with like a little lace detailing over the bust. I have a link to one sit down below. It's basically just like designer deals. And then I also got, oh, this is cute. This is like a little um, play suit. It's hard to see on camera. It's got little polka dot like sheer detailing. Anyway, no, you can't even see it. Hi Shinnick, so thanks for your review on the last box we sent you. So glad you loved the Kitten palette. Here's one of our coffee scented palettes and Marzia collab palettes from Winky Lux. I'm so excited. I actually really liked their eyeshadows. It was probably one of my favorite products by them. And I really appreciate that, like that they enjoyed my review because it was not like a glowing review. Like I said my honest opinions. I said what I liked, what I didn't like so much. And I like that they obviously respected that. And they sent me some more stuff to try, which is cool. I love the packaging. That's one of my favorite things about this brand is the packaging. Like it's just so unique and beautiful. Ooh, a coffee bronzer in the shade Mocha. That smells like coffee, I'm assuming. It's gold packaging. Yeah, that smells good. Mmm, it's a pretty color too, like nice and warm. We have a whipped cream primer. It's so unique. Look at that. It's like creamy and buttery. Oh my gosh. It actually like wobbles when you move it around in the little pot and it smooths the heck out of your skin. Can you see where I've applied it on my hand? Just here, like the difference in the texture. I can see the difference. I'll just try it in a video. We've got heaps of stuff in here, but I'm just gonna show you this because there's a lot of stuff we need to get opening. This is the Coffee palette and it looks like a neutral palette, which I'm excited about. I know like neutral palettes, like there's so many, but I can't open anything now because my fingers are so smooth from that primer. It's like, I've got no grip. I love a good neutral palette. The palette packaging though is adorable. Oh my gosh, those colors are gorgeous. Um, let me know if you do want a tutorial. I'll swatch a couple of the shades, a matte and a shimmer. They are very pigmented and smooth. Stunning shades, okay, I'm excited. Oh, we've got something else from Huda Beauty. Oh yes, I've seen this on social media already. They re-developed um, their rose gold palette. Um, and I think they changed a couple of the shades perhaps. But I've heard people raving about it. So I'm excited. That's how it looks. And then this is the inside. I love how it's coming with a mirror this time. And let's just swatch a couple. Oh my god. They feel like cream almost. Like real thick and just luxurious. Like I don't really think I've felt anything like that before. The mattes just feel normal, but the shimmery ones like feel very, very, very buttery. Like, and I mean that in a literal way. Like they feel like a creamy kind of texture. This rose gold shade is so pretty. I love the jewel chrome. Man, this angle is weird. My head looks like a little peanut. We have something from Animate. Animates is a pet shop, by the way. <laughs> they send me stuff for my dogs sometimes. So I'm excited to see what's in here. <gasps> Louis is going to hate this and also love it, but hate it. Look at how cute that is. And then we also have a little blue number. We also have this red one here. I think I've already got this one. And then a little jacket, jersey, like knit. These are my favorite ones for Louis. He loves these in winter when he gets really cold. So it looks like that, super cute. Um, oh my gosh, they sent so much. This blue coat, which is really nice. And then another little knit. This would be perfect for Zeus. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Okay. Oh my gosh, and they gave me a $10 gift card. That's so nice. Thank you so much, Animates. They said they've just released their new autumn and winter fashion range. So they've included some pieces. And yeah, go check it out. Okay, next up is something from The Balm. Another eyeshadow palette, Meet Matte Schmacker. And this is what it looks like on the inside. That's quite cute. Six little duos. I've not really seen an eyeshadow palette like that. I like the little bronze one. And the, actually, I like all the top ones. <laughs> okay, Sunset Vibes For Your Eyes by Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Light Beam Eyeshadow Palette. And on the inside, it looks like this. It doesn't look very exciting, does it? But 
Let's swatch a couple. I'm gonna do Paradox, which is like an orange, and then Golden Hour, which is like a duochrome. I guess you're supposed to like put these on top of other shadows or something. Let me have a read. Replicate the romantic gilded glow of the setting sun with the sleek, warm hued palette. Okay, maybe they're just eyeshadows. Okay, next is something from Tarte. It says Sieve. I was like, Sieve? See? See? See the change. Once a bit of time. Okay. <laughs> I can't unsee, see, see the change. Okay. Did you know over 500 million plastic straws are used every single day in the US alone, which puts our marine friends at risk? Hell yeah, I knew that. I use metal straws religiously. This Earth Day help reduce pl uh, plastic pollution by switching to a reusable straw and container. And in here, they have put a metal straw. Yay, another one to add to my collection. And a little jar. You can get really cool, like, plastic, reusable plastic ones, though. Like, BPA-free plastic ones at, like, Ruby and... Not Ruby, what's it called? Uh, typo. And I've got like the straw included. I've got one of them and I use it all the time when I'm actually in the car on the go because it sits in a cup holder. It's a really good way just to like cut down your plastic and that kind of thing. So they've filled it up with lipsticks as well. Ooh, I want to swatch this one and this one and this one. They look like such bright, incredible shades. First off, we have the shade Cha Cha. It's pretty. I love these lipsticks, by the way. I have done a lip swatch video on them of some of the shades, not all of the shades. Um, this one is Sea Goddess. They're very creamy and it's so hydrating. That's such a cool sh look. I can't talk today. Such a cool shade. And then this one is Ocean Drive. It looks like that. It's so bright. I'm obsessed. You guys know how much I love a bold lip. Well, actually, I love a bold lip. I love a nude lip. I love any lip. I just love lipstick. Those colors are cool. And I will for sure use this. See, I knew we had some more. Designer brand, Sophie, Sophie Katia. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Oh my gosh, the rain is so bad outside. It's really, really noisy. Hopefully you can't hear it, although we all love the sound of rain. So this is a day to night eyeshadow palette. This is how it looks. Those colors are pretty cool. I was really impressed in my previous drugstore video, trying drugstore makeup. I'll link it down below in a lot of the designer brands like eyeshadows, I still can't talk, eyeshadows and um, like face palettes and stuff. This one is the on the go, all in one face palette. I love the colors. That blush is so pretty. So yeah, I'll have to give these a go. I'm gonna swatch the highlighters. Highlighters, look how intense they are. Next up is something from Marc Jacobs. It says Shameless on the front. And we open it up. Oh, I've been wanting to try this. <laughs> I've been wanting to try this for so long. This one I can already tell is not my color. It's very pink. But these two look okay. That one looks more neutral, that one looks more yellow. And then it comes with a brush as well. I'm so keen to do a first impression on this. If you are keen for me to do it, please comment below um, or let me know if you'd rather see the other one first. Like, I don't know what to do first, but I've been really wanting to try this. My last few first impressions have been at drugstore, so maybe I could do it. I don't know. You tell me. Packaging's so cool. I've heard like rave reviews about this, but then I've heard some people say it's like the worst thing they've ever put on their face, so <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Next up is something from Tom Ford, and I could smell the box before I open it. I was like, I know there's something scented in here, so I'm assuming there's gonna be a perfume. I can smell something. Shannon with a love heart from Tom Ford. <laughs> I love Tom Ford. I feel very special. <laughs> Tom Ford is like probably the brand I've blown the most money on in my life because I've bought so many of their makeup products and they're not affordable. This is the first time I'm actually being sent any of their stuff, which is exciting. This is the newest collection, Summer Soleil 2018. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god this is like a blush duo i don't have the actual name of it because it's a press sample um so you'd have to like match it up with the website bamboo 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 lipstick i love the white packaging so much this is a beautiful like brown color oh this one got damaged this one is I'm not sure. I, I can't tell you the names. I don't know. But it's a really warm kind of plum shade. I'll have to clean it up with a baby wipe. This shade I'm assuming is called Nudist. Which is a really a beautiful like lighter kind of warm nudie brown. Let me know if you want me to try on any of these products in a first impression. This is the Universal Lip Balm in Lumiere. It looks like this. It's very interesting. It's like an orangey shade. Oh my god, it gives you the prettiest like pink flush. I just kind of swatched it on my hand just there. Can you see it? Very subtle, but I feel like it'll just like plump your lips and make them look really like fresh and 
pink or something, you know? I would try it on, but I've got lipstick, which you can't even see because it's so bright in here. We also have the Emerald Isles little duo eyeshadow and cream. So you've got an eyeshadow on the top. It's such a pretty, it's not like a super pigmented, it's like a sheer kind of like wet look glow. And you put it on top of the cream. How stunning! I'm so excited to play. Then with this gigantic compact. Oh my gosh, look, it's like a little face trio. I want to swatch the pinky shade. Oh my god, that texture is unreal. It's so smooth. Oh my gosh, it just glows. It's like my favorite type of highlighter. It just glows from within. Oh my gosh. I am so down for this. I will definitely be trying that out. Look that, that, that out and a video soon. I can't talk. And then this is definitely what I could probably smell. This is the Eau de Toilette. Um, oh, <laughs> really better pronunciation. Eau de Soleil Blanc. Oh, it smells so fresh and like slightly sweet. Shimmer in. I'm just going to put on way too much because I always do. Oh my God. <laughs> I just bought these. <laughs> the Tarte Chrome Shadow uh pots like jewelry for your eyelids and they sent me some jewelry from bobble bar which i've always like browsed on this website but i never buy anything <laughs> so i'm pretty excited these are so cute oh my gosh they're like little tassel pink earrings i actually really like these like i think they'll look cute um and then these are the pots which i won't swatch because i already bought them so i will like, give them away um to one of you guys in an upcoming giveaway. I got the shade Froze, Sun Drenched, and Beach Bay. I think Sun Drenched might be one I don't have, but I'm not for certain sure. Go check out my video. It's called the best glowy makeup routine ever, or best dewy makeup routine. I'll link it down below for you. I use one of these on my eyelids, and I just use it, and that's it, like nothing else, to create an entire eye look. They are so good, you guys. So go check out that video if you want to see them in action. We have something from Ufra. We have... Ooh, liquid eyeshadows. I'm excited. I'm all about liquid eyeshadows lately and like top coats and stuff. I think these aren't really a top coat. I think they're just like a liquid eyeshadow. And they're all in neutral colors, really pretty colors. So yeah, let me know if you want me to, want me, want me to try them in a video. <sighs> I haven't even had any caffeine today and this is happening. I bought some stuff from Tiger Mist. They came in different packages because one of them was the brand IMG. So I got this little crop top, which I thought I could layer underneath something else. And it's super cute. I love it. I can't even remember. <laughs> oh, I think it's like a one, um, one-sided like swimsuit, um, play suit situation. You'll have to imagine it. Hi Shannon, we know you love pajamas as much as we do. We get such a kick out of watching your vlogs and seeing you in your gym jam pants. <laughs> So cute. Okay, so these are from Bluebell and Lily.co.nz. Cute. Is it like a cro crossover um, top? Like crossover sleeves? The pants are like little cropped pants. They look so cozy. They're very, very soft. So this is the brand that sent them. Thank you guys so much. Everything is made right here in New Zealand, including the fabric. That's cool. And then I have more clothes from Pretty Little Thing. Best bag ever. I'm not even joking, like I must have been drunk when I ordered this stuff because I don't remember what I got and I'm like looking at it, I'm like I have no recollection of this. But anyway, earrings, <laughs> some, oh it's like a cute little khaki denim skirt. This nice, I love the colour, um, it's like a cross front blouse, like a knot up blouse. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Is it a dress? I'm assuming it's some kind of dress. Cute pattern. Do you ever like order stuff and it comes and you're like, why did I buy this? Like this kind of like strap up red mini skirt. I mean, I guess I could make it work. What the F is this? Oh, it's a dress. Okay. So like a tassel, oh my God, a tassel dress that is wrapped around my toe and it just tassels all the way to the bottom. It's kind of cool. I, I don't really know what I was thinking. I must have been feeling very spontaneous. Ooh, I got some new stuff from Born Star, which is one of my favorite jewelry brands, I guess you would say. Look how cute these are. I am dead. Oh my gosh. These little like hoops with little um, roses on them. I'm pretty sure these are like 24 karat gold as well. So stunning. And then these little micro hoops. And then there's like longer micro hoops. I'm all about the micro hoop look lately. I'm actually wearing some now. These ones are from Glassons though. Um, and the necklace is Glassons and the top is Glassons and my skirt is Glassons too. What oh, on earth? Oh my gosh, is this like a body chain? Oh my gosh. The star body chain. 
I'm so excited. Next up is something from Makeup Geek. They say, Shannon, I hope you enjoy our new power pigments. We appreciate your support of Makeup Geek. Oh my gosh, yes. So these are like super bright. These would be so good for like Halloween and stuff when I need like, you know, specific colors. Because it's almost quite hard to find like just straight up colors like this sometimes, especially like the more red toned ones. So I'll definitely try them out sometime soon for you guys. And there is also something else. Yes, a cute little Makeup Geek palette, which I can put them in. Magnetic, I'm assuming. Next up is one of my favorite little boxes, Mecca. Mecca is one of my favorite companies in the whole wide world. And oh my God, look how much they've spoiled. Oops, something dropped out. Look how much they've spoiled me. There's so much stuff in here. I actually don't know where the thing that fell out is. Anyway, so we have this neutral matte eyeshadow palette. Natural matte, neutral matte, both by Too Faced gosh look at the state of this it's like this big glass packaging it's actually very luxurious and then if we open it up it looks like this this must be their new formulation or like new packaging of their old school palettes oh it smells so good too it smells like chocolate or something and then there is another natural eyes palette in here a natural face palette let's have a look at this oh that's so pretty i want to try this Look how nice. The highlighters are so pretty. They look quite powdery, but the colors look beautiful. Sometimes powdery face products are fine though when you put them on, it just depends. So I'll have to try them out on my face. We have some Glitter Flip liquid lipsticks, which I'm excited about. I tried my first one over at Mecca Land um, for one of my meetups, my meetup with Urban Decay, and it was so cool. So I'm excited to try some more of the shades. It's like a liquid lipstick and you rub your lips together and it goes like glittery, like super cool. Lash Topia Mega Volume Mascara by Bare Minerals. We have some nude lipsticks by Too Faced in heaps of different colors. I'm just going to open up one of them. Let's do this one. I might chuck some on. This is the shade uh, Skinny Dippin'. Skinny Dippin'. And the packaging is so cute. It's like a slimline lipstick and it's like matte. And this is what it looks like. It looks like the little MAC ones. I have no more. From what I can see in my viewfinder, it looks okay. It feels really, really like creamy and hydrating. It feels just like the MAC ones. I like the color. Oh, there's another one too, a darker nude. And then we have some NARS palettes, the Wanted 2 Cheek Palette and Wanted 1 Cheek Palette. I love the Wanted eyeshadow palette, so I'm so excited to see what these look like. I haven't seen them before. So this one has, I think they both must have six shades. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Hold on, let me darken this. Once again, the sun is out in full force now. Look how pretty those colors are. So that's the first one. And then the second one's probably better for like medium and deeper skin tones. It's so pretty. I love those deep berry shades. Such a fan. Okay. Those are stunning. The packaging is so stunning as well. And just like so luxe. I don't know if I'll keep them or I might even give them away. Um, because I probably have similar colors in single NARS. Um, uh, uh, single NARS blushes there we go because i've got heaps of nars blushes so yeah i might give those away to you guys we have more of the little mini nars liquid lipsticks how cute are they i'm not a huge fan of the formula of those ones but i do have some friends that tried mine the ones that i used and liked them so it's probably a personal preference for me that was just very runny and hard to work with and then i have the chocolate soleil longwear matte bronzer which is in the shade matte what's different about this one i already have this bronzer. Ooh, the packaging is new and different. <laughs> okay, stunning. Do I need this or do I just use my old ones? I don't know. Next up is some Kylie goodies. So let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the stuff I bought. So I bought the bronze palette because I wanted to see what it was like. Um, I think it's basically the same as her old bronze palette in the square packaging, but with some new shades or something. But I'm a sucker for neutral palettes, like I said before. And I also picked up some of her new colored lip kits. Um, she sent me some recently, but not these shades and I really wanted to pick them up myself So these are the ones I got and I love the look of the colors. They look so nice Next up is something from LA girl Ooh, What is this? This is how it looks on the inside glow products. So we have sunlit afterglow and moonlight glow um, Lotions, I suppose do you put these on your face or your body? I guess it doesn't matter Oh, there you go. It says on your face or on other certain areas. I'm just going to try this one. This is the shade Afterglow. It's really pretty. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see. And then I have these illuminating powders as well. I'll just swatch one random one. 
This one is in the shade 24 karat. Oh my god, I popped one of the little like bits and I just got powder all over my leg. At least my leg will look fabulous and highlighted now. It comes with like a powder puff and let me darken this so we can actually see. It's just like a loose highlighter. It looks pretty. I don't know, I have to try them on my face to see what I think of them properly. And then the final, no, this is not the final thing. This is the final thing that's in front of me. We've still got a huge stack behind me. Um, this is from Antipodes. Hosanna H2O Intensive Skin Plumping Serum. Sounds kind of epic. I've actually got a couple of serums on the go at the moment, so I have to save that for later. Um, and then this is the Grace Gentle Cream Cleanser with avocado oil. Um, and some other good stuff in there. So that's exciting. Next up is another thing from Tarte. They always seem to spoil me. It's pretty cute, look. And then you must just sit it in here nicely. Oh, that's quite cute, I like that. And then inside is this Timeless Smoothing Primer by Tarte. I'm on my knees right now, by the way, because my butt is sore. And it looks like the Winky Lux one, like identical to the Winky Lux one, look at that. Wow. And it says that it's loaded with heaps of um, ingredients that will help your makeup look better over time. Okay, this looks exciting. This is from Urban Decay. It's the Beached Collection. What do you guys think? It looks cool in the packaging. Let's have a look. We have a couple of 24-7 liners, eye pencil liners. Ooh, the colors look good. I love these eyeliners. They're some of my favorites. So we have one in the shade Goldmine and then one in the shade Lucky. I'm sure I've already got Goldmine or maybe I don't. I'm going to swatch Lucky. It's like a really beautiful, oh god, I just broke off the tip. Beautiful like coppery bronze shade. We have the Beached Eyeshadow Palette and it looks like this. It's so pretty. I love the colors. Some warm shades and then some blues as well. We have some bronzes in the shade Beached and, no, bronzed, sorry, and Sunkissed. And it looks like this. It looks like those other ones I had that I just decluttered. Whoops. Looks like that. Honestly, I'll probably put these in a giveaway because I've got so many bronzers and I'm not sure I'll actually get around to trying them. And there's a couple others I want to try that are new. And some more um, Vice lipsticks, a couple of like shimmery ones. Or actually, no, yeah, two shimmery ones and one sheer, which I'll probably just donate or put in a giveaway for you guys as well. I've got so many lipsticks as it is. Well, I should say so many of the Vice lipsticks as it is. And I don't know if I need those ones. I'm way too spoiled from basically every makeup company, but I won't complain. I love it, but yeah, we can share the love. Ooh, another makeup box. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, these are the new Glam Glow masks at Mecca. So they are My Little Pony, I think. Yeah, My Little Pony inspired. I've got the pink one, the black one, and the purple one. I need to try them out in like a little Instagram video for you guys or something. They look really cool. Next up is something from ColourPop in a huge box. Oh, the Shayla collection. I've heard amazing things about this. So let's have a look. Oh, wait, let me read the note first. Oh, I'm invited to the launch party. That's been and gone. Thanks for the thought though. I'm so bad, but plus I live in New Zealand. Like it's not easy to go to these things, but I still love how they invite me. It makes me feel included. If only I lived in LA. I don't think I could like handle that lifestyle though. Seriously, like it is a different world to New Zealand. <laughs> okay, so this is the palette. I will for sure be using this soon. Look at those colors. I've already seen this online. That bottom row is calling my name. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. And I love ColourPop eyeshadows. I have like really good experiences with them. Why is my voice so croaky? Who would know? We've got about six more packages to go. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you are enjoying it so I know to do some more. Oh, these are definitely not for me. I bought these for Hamish. And I got a best drinking games for grown ups little set. And I got pink grapefruit fragrance diffuser which I'm gonna put in our bathroom because I like them in there just help freshen the place up a little and I also got oh my gosh I got the random stuff um this little drinking buddy bottle opener in like a copper color and then the final thing I have is is this another diffuser cucumber mint sage diffuser which I like the smell of cucumber I just can't eat it so I got that one as well which would be nice in the lounge or something next up I have something here from Laura Lee Los Angeles so let's open it up I'm assuming it's her nudie patootie palette oh it's so long I like the packaging and then inside okay this is how it, it reminds me of the new mac palette it's like real long i love the colors oh my gosh you guys already know these are like right up my alley it reminds me of that ColourPop. 
what was the ColourPop palette I used to use all the time? Let Me Love You or something like that. Um, it reminds me of those vibes. I want to swatch the shade Jaybird because it just looks, oh my god, it's so pretty. So nice. And Au Naturel. Yeah, these are pigmented. Let me know if you want a tutorial. The mattes look stunning as well. And I got sent... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, I literally got sent the exact same thing that I bought before as well. So I have some stuff for giveaways as well. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial. I could do a tutorial and giveaway in one video or something like that maybe. This always happens to me. <laughs> I always buy stuff and then get sent it as well. More stuff for you guys. Okay, next up is something from CoverGirl. CoverGirl are on fire lately. Seriously, if you guys watched my last drugstore tutorial, the same one, I'm going to link down below. First impressions, drugstore, makeup. There was so much amazing CoverGirl stuff. And I like didn't hate CoverGirl makeup or anything, but you can definitely see just the improvement on their ranges, like the pigment, the like product types even, like the sorts of products they're bringing out. In this box, what is this? Some more foundation. So this is the Healthy Elixir foundation. Is this the same as the one I just looked at? I don't even know. Buried under boxes right now. But anyway, they sent me some of the Healthy Elixir foundations in a bunch of different shades. Could be the same as the one before. I'd have to check. But anyways, thank you, CoverGirl. Three more to go. Oh gosh. Okay, so this stuff here is something I bought myself off Petal and Pup, which is like a clothing boutique in, I guess, Australia or something like that and their ads kept tracking me. You know when you've like got one ad on Facebook that's always coming up and they always had the cutest clothes. I went on their website and to be honest, I don't really love the website, like just the way um, you navigate, but their actual clothing, <sighs> seriously, they have the best styles. So I finally caved after like three months of being tracked by their ads and I purchased some things. So I'll quickly show you what I picked out. So I first off got this jumper which is a not back jumper. I've got one like this, but it's a mustard color. I got it off ASOS and the quality is really bad. Whereas this one actually feels like good quality. Also got this roughly like, oh, I think it's a dress. It's like a short dress. It's got a little like loop at the back and I just love the color and the style. It's super floaty and like loose, which I like. Then I also got this dress here, which is a navy blue color, which is one of my favorites. It's got little puffy sleeves, which I thought were really cute. And it's just really flowy once again. And then the final one I totally got for the pattern. Um, but also the style looks really nice. So the pattern is just adorable. I love it. And it's got long sleeves, like bell sleeves. And it's just super flowy. And I like the fabric. Okay, let's see what's inside this giant box. Okay, this says to Shannon, please enjoy the velvet wheel filled with every shade of Rouge Edition Velvet Liquid Matte Lipsticks from Bourjois. Oh my gosh, I'm on the Bourjois PR list now. I used to purchase so much Bourjois back in the day, um, like when I first started my channel, like as a drugstore brand. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's have a look inside. Whoa, oh my gosh, look at this. How incredible, oh my God, it moves. It's like, which color should I use today? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. So yeah, they're all liquid lipsticks and there's like a million different shades and they all look gorgeous. So if you want me to do any kind of lip swatch video or try them out or anything, just hit me up. Oh, there's another hidden package just here. This is just some new designer brands, um, lip colors and lip scrubs. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at the lighting. It's starting to come through now. And these creamy stain lip crayons as well. I'll save them for a first impression. Like if we do another drugstore first impression, which I will be doing actually because of my last one, which I keep talking about, loads of you guys said you wanted another one. So I'm definitely going to do another one. All right, let's open up this last package back there. Okay, in the last box is this other huge box, Raw Australian Organic Superfood Infused Beauty. And we have lots of stuff. I'm getting blinded by the light. Ooh. Dear Shannon, we hope your skin gets a superfood boost from our natural skincare range. Perfect for extra hydration during the colder months. Amen, sister. So we've got a cleanser, an exfoliator, we've got micellar removing water, we've got a toner, we've got a face moisture. I love the look of this packaging. Um, hand to nail cream, we've got some oils, and then in this oh, really big punnet, what is this? Ooh, sugar scrub, body scrub. Ugh, I can't open it. Oh, there's a sticker on it. Okay, I'll open it later. I just want to like have a look at this. Ooh, it smells really nice. I wasn't expecting that. 
feels good too. It's really lightweight and really hydrating. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing haul. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up as always. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!